Hey, this is Ryan from WPMU Dev, and I'm looking forward to showing you around the new plugin feature in the hub. In this video, I'll take you through everything to do with plugins, and even give you an idea of what is coming to this very soon. So let's get started by taking a look at the My Plugins page. In the hub, you'll notice a new plugins tab at the top of the screen. Click on it to enter the My Plugins area. This is the My Plugins screen, and it gives you an overview of all the plugins you have installed on the websites that you have connected to the hub. Now you may have a lot of plugins installed across all your sites. This is why we've added a handy search box at the top of the screen. So if you're looking for a specific plugin, you can get there quickly. Next to the search box, we have the add plugins button and we'll get to that area soon. Now let's take a look at the individual plugin options, which will be very similar throughout this video. If we have plugins that we use all the time, we can add them to our favorites by clicking the star which shows up to the left of the plugin logo. If we hover over any of the stats on the plugin, we get more information about that particular statistic. Looking at the active stats for ACF, we can see the websites it's active on, along with the version number of the plugin. This makes it easy to see if everything's up to date. We can also go to the plugin manager from here too. The more info button on the right also gives us the option to head to the plugin manager. Clicking on what's new will bring up the plugin change log information. On WPMU Dev Plugins, you also have the option for plugin info, and that will take you to that plugins page on the website. Let's now click Manage to see what options we have there. The plugin manager gives you full control over the status of this plugin on your website. We have a more info button that takes us to the change log for the plugin. On the row below, we have three tabs that cover the different statuses. Each of these tabs has options, but overall they all work in a very similar way. The sorting and filtering options are the same across all as well. Taking a look at the tabs, under the active tab, we have the option to deactivate the plugin across all sites by bulk selecting or selecting multiple sites from the list. If we take a look at the websites individually, we can see the website name, the version of the plugin running on that site, and can deactivate on a site-by-site -site basis. Under the inactive tab, we have the option to bulk select and either activate or delete the plugin from the sites in the list, along with the option to do this individually as well. Under the not installed tab, it's very similar, but this time the options are to either just install or install and activate in one click. Let's now check out the add plugin section. We can do that by going back to my plugins and clicking on the blue button at the top right. The add plugins area gives you a lot of options when it comes to adding plugins to the sites you manage within the hub. The first tab is where you can find all the WPMU Dev Pro plugins and easily add them to your sites. There is a bulk selection option at the top of the list so you can select the plugins you want and add them with a couple of clicks. If you hover over any of the individual plugins, you can add that plugin by clicking the blue link. You also get some info here about each plugin and how many websites it's currently active on. Moving to the wp.org tab, and we now have access to the full WordPress repository from this screen. This means we no longer have to go to the site's WordPress dashboard and add plugins from there. Everything can be done from the hub. At the top of the list, we have search and filter options. These work just like the ones in the WordPress dashboard. Plugins can be sorted by popularity, feature, and recommended, with all that information pulled from wp.org. There is also a filter there to find the free WPM Dev plugins too. Individually, we can see the plugin name, author, description, rating, and installation data. Just like in the previous tab, we can add the plugin if we hover over it. The More Info button gives us options again to see the change log, along with being able to add the plugin to a site or our favorites. And as we're on that subject, if we head to the Favorites tab, we can see all the plugins we have starred here. Let's now look at how we add a plugin to a website. We will use this plugin as an example, but you can easily search for any plugins you want. If we click the blue Add to Site link, that will then give us the option to add this plugin to one or more of the websites we have connected to the hub. Here we have the same sort, filter and search options as we had in the plugin manager. We can select a couple of websites and then use the bulk install and activate option. 
We can also add individually if we want to as well. To install multiple plugins to one or more websites, simply search for the plugins you need and add them to favorites. In the favorites section, select those plugins and click add to site. It's then just a case of choosing the sites you want to add them to and bulk installing. Simple. That covers everything to do with the plugins area so far. So let's look at what's coming in future updates. Soon we will be able to install plugins by uploading their zip packages in the add plugins area. And also from public URLs like Dropbox or any other file repository. I hope this video has given you lots of useful information about the plugins feature and how much of a powerful tool it is to have in your workflow. Be sure to check it out now in the hub. If you're not a member, grab a free trial and take the whole WPMU Dev platform for a spin. Thanks for watching.